Hi, in this video, I'll give you an overview of Log Framer. Log Framer is a very powerful tool which is used in project planning, developing log frame matrices, and uh, developing budgetary estimates. It also helps you in creating bar chart or scan charts. The more interesting part is this software is totally free. You can download it from this website that is uh, www.logframer.eu and the current version of the software is 3.1. Now let me give you an overview of the software. So this is the interface of the software. If you look at here, so on its menu bar we have the options like file, then is text, then is items, then it is reports. In items, we find options. Now, here you see, we have the four basic components. One is project, and second is the log frame, and third one is planning, and last one is budget. In project, what we need to do is, we give here uh, basic information about the project and create project profile. Name of the project is given here and short version or abbreviated version of the name is given here. You can get some code also and duration of the project is specified here. You can specify duration in days or in weeks or in months or in years. Once you give a start date and specify duration, end date is automatically calculated by the software. And uh, then here you see in the lower component, so you give basic information about the project. For example, first we need to do is we have to specify at which stage the project is currently operating. Is it at identification stage or is it at implementation stage or at completion stage or at the it has been cancelled or it has been completed what are the relevant options is you just check it so the below this tip you see here so we as, uh, indicate nature of the project the first one is the type of the project is a humanitarian or the development or whatever it is you just check the relevant options and if the project is a non-profit so then you can uh, indicate its types also. And if it's for profit, then you can indicate again its uh, types and nature. And if it's a government project, then again you can indicate the uh, nature of the project. When you are done, then the next step what we need to do is we give brief description of the project. So you can even specify project objectives here, project scope is you can give here. However, context of the project you can specify here. So once you're done, then you move to the second component that is log frame. You see this is a log frame. So goals of the project are mentioned here with indicators here and verification sources. Uh, you mentioned here and assumption are mentioned here. Same as case with the purpose and then output. And for activities you you can list down or as many as activities you want. Same as case with output, purpose and goal. Once you add a goal you will see a new line, black line will also appear where you can add another goal. So the list of activities that you create here, so they will automatically appear in the next component that is planning. So here you see, so this is the planning component. So here all activities will appear here, with specific num numbers also. So here, uh, so uh, start date is given, end date is given, you can change these dates. So the moment you change any date, so you will see, the bar chart will automatically change. 
So the next step for that is the budget. So this is the window for budget estimations. So you can list down all items consumable or usables, then give their quantity, the duration of the use, and currency also you will see here. So the total estimates will appear. So this is a way you can create a project plan, a bar chart or a can chart, a budget estimate or budget plan, and also flow print matrix with this software. Once you have done all these things, then you can straight away go to reports. Here you can create reports for the log frame if you want. So, so you just click it, you will see a log frame matrix will appear here in a different format. So you can create a project plan, you can create a budget estimates, and also many other kind of reports you can create from here. Then even you can create risk registers also. So thanks for watching.